Okay, this is day three of the drawing process and uh, I imagine I have about um, one more day of this. It's just so liberating just to draw really big on walls. <laughs> My art is colorful, cheerful. Um, I'm hoping to bring some light and love and good feelings to otherwise ordinary places. We're in Westgate Park. Westgate Park is a 47 acre park. It is the largest park in the city and it's in the Westgate neighborhood on the greater hilltop area of Columbus on the west side. We're standing right now on the west facing wall of the racquetball court in the park right in front of Danielle Poli's fantastic food garden. <laughs> it came about through um, Summer Jam Westgate, which is a festival that's here every summer, and it's an art and music festival. Um, they invited artists to apply and to sort of share some ideas on ways to incorporate the existing mural that was up, that's up in the corner and to kind of extend the design onto the whole wall. Um, and the theme that they chose for the year was the fantastic food garden. The, the wall was just 80 feet of gray cement and it was tagged all the time. So this year we're promoting community gardens and healthy eating, backyard gardening, and of course your pollinators that you need to keep it all going. So there's honeybees and monarchs. Also there's a little bird in there that is under the sunflower. There was a Hungarian partridge that took up residence in Westgate Park, and so when I was painting the design, I, um, you know, just was looking at it walking around. It looks like a chicken or something. And so I thought, wow, I'm going to put him or her in the mural. We're inviting any child in the, on the hilltop area to come out here with their parents and we'll have their hands painted and Danielle will press their hands into the petals of the beautiful flowers that she has painted over there so that all of a sudden the mural becomes part of all the families on the hilltop. It becomes their mural. It becomes something that they get to take ownership in and it'll be there for their lifetime hopefully. Mm -hmm. We have uh, a, a special anti-graffiti coating and it gets rolled on over top. So if anyone tags it or spray paints it, it's a simple soap and water soft brush and power washer and it's gone. Yesterday I, I heard um, a grandfather and his grandchildren walking past and he said, go stand by the mural, I want to take your picture. And I think public art has that ability to bring people together to, to not just make the mural, but to enjoy it and to find a, a sense of place. We're so void of so much public art up here on the hilltop and we just want to bring it out there for everybody. 